Good morning and welcome back into the Cowboys Report. The new league year begins today and there is a very likely uh, possibility that Ezekiel Elliott will not be a member of the Dallas Cowboys anymore. The timing still seems uncertain, but multiple different reports from different outlets say the Cowboys are likely to cut Ezekiel Elliott. That would end his time as a member of the Dallas Cowboys. Not officially official yet. If when this ends up happening today, we will be live on the Cowboys report because how can we not be? It's a significant move, one many of you have been asking for in the comment section. If this happens, we'll be live. We'll probably be live today either way. So make sure you're subscribed, youtube.com slash at Cowboys TV. Again, more here on the Ezekiel Elliott situation. Uh, first reported by Clarence Hill, then Ian Rappaport, Jane Slater mentioned it, uh, I think Jordan Schultz did too, uh, Albert Breer. Lots and lots and lots of different media people saying, not done yet, but the expectation is a release of the former star running back of the Dallas Cowboys in Ezekiel Elliott. The likely outcome as well is a post-June 1st cut, which you can't officially do in two, until the new league year begins. You can announce you're going to do it, and that's fine. Uh, so there's really nothing outside of the technicality of it, preventing the Cowboys from doing that uh, at this point. You do that, the Cowboys save $10.9 million. Now that money does not get freed up until after June 1st. You would, you would have to wait uh, on that front to get the money. But that's your, that, that's your draft pick money. That's your off -seat, That's your free agency spending whatever money. Uh, that would free up later on in the offseason. You would still want to get something done uh, from the standpoint of freeing up more money with a Tyron Smith potential move there. But this was, this was necessary for Ezekiel Elliott. He's not the same guy anymore. 3.8 yards per carry, 4.2, 4.0. It just wasn't very good. Uh, Elliot is not that guy anymore. We'll spend some more time on Zeke, but we've spent a lot of time on Zeke here in the past couple of days, weeks, months at this point. Is cutting Ezekiel, you know everything you need to know right now. Is cutting Ezekiel Elliott the right move? Why for yes and for no? This is the pinned comment on today's show. So if an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there, let me know why for yes and for no. This is the correct move. You, you, you have to do it. You have to. If you, if you want to love Zeke, hey, more power to you. If you want to remember fondly his time in Dallas, that, especially that 2016 season, I get it. But Zeke is not that guy anymore. You ha and frankly, make the move ASAP, Dallas. You know, you, maybe you're leaking to try to get him to take a vet minimum deal. Okay, that's fine. I get it. But you have got to, got to make the move from Ezekiel Elliott and do something to make that that decision and an upgrade and move on from an aging player who's not productive who will save you money in the short term and the long term and then you can draft somebody else once that's all squared away today's Cowboys report is sponsored by Kinzuri fellers are you tired of feeling insecure about your height Kinzuri makes shoes that can add up to 2.8 inches to your height discreetly Women got high heels, makeup, and push-up bras. Why can't men get a confidence boost, too? We're all the same height lying down, anyway, if, if you know what I mean there. Kinzuri shoes are not only height-boosting, but also stylish and comfortable. They're not grandpa's Velcro shoes, but fashionable shoes that can receive compliments even without the height increase. The height insoles are integrated into the shoes, making it the ultimate height hack. For a limited time, Kinzuri offers our viewers an exclusive discount of 15% on top of their up to 30% site-wide discount. Use code CHAT, C-H-A-T, at Kinzuri.com slash chat to get your 45% off. Don't wait any longer. Upgrade your shoe game and confidence now at C-O-N-Z-U-R-I dot com slash chat. When I want to get high, I put on a pair of Kinzuri's. The link is in the comments and the description of today's show. Got a pair of the Ice Runners right here. Nice and clean. I love the fit. Get yours today at Kinzuri.com slash chat. 
The Cowboys running back depth chart for now will have Ezekiel Elliott on there. We'll make the official sh official switch, excuse me, uh, once he is released, which again could happen as soon as 4 p.m. today, Eastern time. Pollard is back. He is a franchise tag uh, player, so we'll just leave him as on the roster. Uh, his savings and money kind of swaps in there pretty nicely for what you'll save with Zeke long term there. That leaves Malik Davis and RFA Rico Dowdle. Uh, the, the tender deadline, I think it's today or it's near it. So he might not be back at all. Uh, he hasn't been able to stay healthy. This team, I think, will draft a running back. I could see him drafting two running backs. You could take one round seven. Minimum, you'll have some uh, uh, UDFAs t tacked in there. But it's about replacing Zeke, and that's okay. Uh, the Cowboys had looked pretty heavily into a pay cut. I don't know what Zeke was asking for. I don't know what the Cowboys were offering. Maybe one day we'll, we'll find a way to figure out what the numbers were. But again, this yeah, yeah, you had to do it. You had to do it. If the Cowboys had not been making a move on Ezekiel Elliott today, I think it would have been organizational malpractice. You can't have a player with a 10 $10.9 million base salary and a $16 million cap hit with no planned decision in sight on your roster today. You had to do something. And look, if Zeke wants to come back on a vet minimum, I'm not necessarily opposed to that. I'm not. But for what he offers you, that is replacement level production. He's still great in short yardage. He's still got a good nose for the end zone. But... I'm not paying ten plus million dollars for that. That's just not a good decision from an organizational standpoint here. So, what is your one-word reaction to the release of Ezekiel Elliott? Let me know in the comments section what you what your one-word reaction is. My one word is needed, necessary. Uh, if you want to go unfortunate, that's fine, but it cannot be a negative word. Maybe maybe heartbreaking is like the closest you'll go, but like this, this is not prime Zeke anymore. This is, to be honest, this is washed up Zeke. It is. He did some great things for you. None of that changes how good he was as a cowboy, but you can't be making your roster decisions based out of emotion, Patrick. You got to be making it based on what the reality is of the current day. And Zeke was not worth it anymore, unfortunately. Simply put, Go draft somebody instead. I love this running back draft class. It is loaded. Top end talent galore. We were going through, I don't remember what, what what live show it was. We were going through all these different guys that I have. I've done like maybe 15 players at, at back already. And like all but two of them are fourth round grades. Like it's a re or fourth round grades are better, I should say. You're going to find somebody or some buddies who can help you out in a pretty significant way. So go draft somebody. Give Malik Davis a chance to, to be the complimentary piece behind Tony Pollard. And don't trade up for B. John Robinson. I saw that tweet out there. No, bad idea. We'll, we'll do probably replacements more in depth when Zeke is officially cut. Uh, there are some notable free agents out there, but I don't, I don't want to pay running back money. You, you've, you're committing a lot to Ezekiel. Elliott. Draft somebody. Find a draft pick that's cheap, that's productive, and then you know try to avoid spending big money on Ezekiel Elliott types of players at the back end of their career. So again, not official, the Cowboys cutting Ezekiel Elliott, but so many reports out there, it is a matter of, it sounds like, when and the timing, not if he ends up getting cut. When it happens, we will break it down. When it officially happens, I should say. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. Do not miss out. Free videos with a bunch of live shows. Had a great time last night for the Stefan Gilmore trade. Hoping to have some more fun here. Make sure you're subscribed right now.